tonight is the night. Yeah, what's happening? We are going to make a baby tonight. I'm ovulating. Yeah. But we've been trying so long with no luck. Uh, shall we try something different? Sure. I will come home right after work. Hmm? Great. Then we have plenty of time to... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, this is work. I have to reply this. Then what about tonight? Uh, surprise me. Hey, God. Bracky, anyone? John, John. <laughs> is breakfast too difficult a word that it needs to be shortened? You're welcome, Mom. <laughs> hey, kiddo. Can we have a chat? Sure. In private? Whatever you want to say, you can say in front of Auntie Rose and Grandma. Okay. Well, I've been thinking about moving back to Singapore with Bridget and Max. I was thinking that maybe you could come back and stay with us again. Stay or live? Live, of course. It's the slip of the tongue. Sarah, I just... I want a chance to make things right with you. Well, I like living here with Auntie Rose and Grandma. I know. But don't you want a chance to get to know Max? He's your half-brother. He's always been my half-brother. But you never want a means life. What's the answer for that, Jonathan? Class, how do I know you're not going to dump me back here later? Sarah, I'm trying, okay? I know you're pissed with me, but do you think Max deserves the same treatment? It's your choice. Mom and I will always be here. So the way Yeah. Yeah? That's it? You don't have anything to say to me? Ma, I had a great break. <laughs> Your pa is in China. He's counting on you to run the shop. How can he just disappear like that? Luckily, I found Sensei Charlie to stand in for you. Good for you. I want to take a shower first. <gasps> Smile, auntie, like that. So happy are you? I think I'm going to move back in with my family. Cool. See? This is my half-brother. <laughs> cool. Nice. It's weird. Why? Before, when I thought I was adopted, he was just some kid. I hated him because he took all my parents' attention. But now, we've got something in common. Our dad. I'm still angry with him, but you know, it's my dad. Yeah, I know the feeling. I have a little brother. Now I have to be a good big sister. Huh. Good luck to him. Big sisters can be a real pain in the butt. Hey, personal experience. My kaka is always telling me what to do and nagging my ears off. Wow, well, we're super nice to him, okay? No. Just be yourself. Be honest, be there. Just like how my kaka has been to me. Hmm? You know how many appointments you had when you're off enjoying a staycation? 20. I had to call your customers to postpone. We had so many working customers some more. You know how we survive? Not really. You... Nikan, what kind of attitude is this? He just came back to work, ma. Let him settle down first. I don't know why I bother. Keep the shop open for him for what? I should have gone to play mahjong. Then Kana from Hing. Hey, Nelly, I know you're fed up, huh? but he has a lot on his plate now. He has a lot I don't have? I have to take care of Suan Tao, go home and cook. I still have to take care of Brayden for him. Not a word of thanks, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I'll talk to him. Huh? Good luck to you. I talk nicely to him. Also, he's so rude to me. Dad? Hey, kiddo. Mind if we come in? Yeah, sure. Dad, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine, Sarah. Thanks. Aww. Hey, kiddo. Come on hey, over here. Max. Do you want to play car chase again? He just had his morning injection. I think he really needs to rest. Oh, then uh, why don't I bring him to my room to rest? It's okay. He can just rest here, dear. But he'll be more comfortable in my room, right, Dad? Um, he's fine here, Sarah. You're awfully free, Jonathan. 
Oh, yeah, I just uh, decided to take the day off and spend time together with the family. How nice. Well, I'm off to work. Bye-bye, little darling. Say bye to Grandma. Yeah. Mm, thanks. Hey, you're not getting anything for yourself? Nah. So what's going on, Anthony? Nothing much. Same old, same old. Well, same old, same old is not you running off on the staycation. Suddenly... No reason. I just want to get away, clear my head. Your father is in China now. No? What's there to get away from? Hmm? I don't know. Midlife crisis. <laughs> That's what you're going through. I'm not even 40. It happens to anyone, huh? Anytime. I don't have a midlife crisis. Nothing to be ashamed of, huh? It happens. I'm not about to dye my hair blonde or buy a sports car going wrong. Midlife crisis can come in all sorts of ways, okay? That doesn't have to be it. I'm not having a midlife crisis. Okay, okay. Whatever this is, doesn't matter. But it has affected your mother, who has jumped through hoops to keep Swata open. Hmm? I'll settle this with my mom. I think an apology is in order. Okay. Hey, Max. Let's take a wee Sarah, can you just stay away from him? You know he just fell down yesterday, right? What happened yesterday was an accident. Sarah, we have to be very careful with Max because he has diabetes. If he gets a cut, it takes longer than usual to heal. I'll be careful, I promise. Sarah, can you stop being so stubborn? You have not lived with us for the last two years, so you have no idea how complicated his diabetes has made our lives. Ma, come, let me help you. Need... Sorry, Ma. I shouldn't have left you in the lurch like that. You think you can just come back? Say sorry and everything will be okay? Can you at least let me explain? Explain what? I know you're stressed. But why can't you wait until your pie is back from China to get away? You can't just disappear and expect me to take care of the shop myself. Not even the work of thanks. Why did I ask you to keep the shop open? No, right? I did it! So your pa won't be angry with you? Well, maybe I want pa to be angry with me. Do you dare to talk back? If you're not happy, get out! So I won't close down without you! Okay! I just wanted to take a photo with my brother. Why are you making it such a big deal? I know you're trying to get close to Max because your dad told you that we're moving back to Singapore. But that's not happening anytime soon. So you're going to have to just stay here with Grandma and Auntie Rose. What? But Dad, you said... Sarah, I'm sorry, but there's been a change of plans, okay? You're just going to have to wait a while longer, at least until he gets better. Yeah, and by then you'll be old enough to live on your own. I get it now. You're doing all this to get rid of me for good. Nobody is trying to get rid of you, Sarah. We're just doing what's best for everyone. Best for everyone? Well, like, what's best for you? You don't care about me. You can't wait to get me out of your life. Don't be so dramatic, Sarah. I do care about you. Well, let me tell you something. You want to get rid of me? Not so easy. Sarah. I'm an Otega. Of course you're an Otega. We adopted you. No, I'm truly an Otega. That's my biological dad. And I know who my real mom is. Her name is Evelyn. Evelyn? It was that woman. It was a long time ago. But you said it was nothing. You said it was all in my mind. Bridget, I'm sorry, okay? I made a mistake. A mistake? I knew. I could sense it. You weren't that woman. I thought I was going crazy or something. And you brought her into our home? Not some random girl that we adopted, but this... This thing between you and that woman. Bridget, I'm sorry, okay? I, I wanted to tell you so many times. But you never! You wanted it a secret. Yeah, but somehow she found out. If she had never, you wouldn't have said a thing. Bridget, please forgive me, please. Bridget, no. don't go. I... Keep your hands off me. No. What have you done? No more secrets. 
dead. Everything I've worked so hard to protect, gone. Just like that. On the right side, you don't have to pretend anymore. We've lost our family. Were we? Were they a family? I'm not sure if Bridget ever wanted me dead. I have to get Max back. I can't let Bridget go. What about me? Hey, Olivia. Hey, Harish. Come and join me. Oh, thanks. Boss, uh, one deal. How's everything? How's Sarah? She was pretty down the other night. Better. Mm. She's been playing with her little brother. Her brother? She never speaks about him. Well, they're quite far apart in age. But her whole family's here now. Hmm. Nice. The Ortega family is united again, eh? <laughs> it definitely is. It's lovely having everyone around. Yeah, except Mr. Ortega. Well, we found that the whole jigsaw be complete. That man was never a part of our family. Not in the way that good husbands and good fathers are. I'm so sorry. I raised them all by myself. The only contribution that man made was his name. And in hindsight, I should have gotten rid of it too. I see. Rose never mentioned that. No wonder she never speaks about her father. Well, there's a bloody good reason for that. You don't talk about things that bring no joy to your life. Now my lunch is ruined. I'm so, so sorry. Oh, please. This isn't about you. It is the memory of that idiot. Whoa, did I hear you correctly? Yes, every single word. I walked out of the shop. Well done. I, I don't know what made me do it, but I just did it. You did it because it was time to free yourself from your parents' shackles. You're saying that you've had enough of their bullying. You're absolutely right. <laughs> What's next? I don't know. <laughs> That's the perfect answer. <laughs> uh, but what do I do next? And what do you want to do? I mean, how far do you want to be from Swatao? Not so far. Maybe I was rash. My ma's alone in the shop. My ma will be fine. She'll manage, she'll live. Didn't she say you weren't needed? Right. Swata will go on with or without me. Forget tomorrow. Let's go do something we haven't done in a long time. Like what? Want to go to the arcade and shoot some badass aliens? <laughs> 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 say that again? I told Bridget about if they need me. Oh my god, why did you do that? Because they lied to me again. Bridget said that by the time they move back to Singapore, I'll be old enough to live on my own. She never wanted me to move back in with them. I don't know what to say to you, Sarah. I thought I raised Jonathan properly, but he turned out to be a spineless coward. If only I'd done a better job of him, things would have turned out like this. There you go again, Grandma. You're making this about you. I was just trying to make you feel better. Oh. Okay, Gong, here's your drink. Hey. Gong, I'm sort of in a rush. I promised Benny I'll go home right after work. Did your brother call? No, what's up? He walked out of Sawtell just now. Like, to get a coffee? He and mother had a fight. And now he's gone. Won't even answer his phone. First the staycation, now this? I think your brother is going through midlife crisis. Shouldn't that be in the 50s? You know, like more middle. It doesn't have to be the... Although technically not many of us live till 100. So maybe 40s is really the new meat. Are you done? Yeah. As I was saying, midlife crisis. Yeah. It happens to the best of us. Trust me, uh, I did some very crazy things when I was going through this. Is it crazier than what you did with Olivia? All that leather, electric guitar stuff, in public. Ma was so embarrassed. I'm done. So, you know what to do, huh? What? Go talk to your brother before he decides to do something crazy like bungee jumping and give your mother a heart attack. Huh. I think Ma can take a bungee jump. It's God that I will be worried about. Can you just shut up and talk to him? Okay, okay, okay. But no hurry, right? Because I promised Benny I will... Go, go! Oh, 
sorry. Something urgent has come up. Can I leave my tools here? Okay. Um, I'll be back first thing tomorrow to finish up. Sure. Thanks. Benny? Surprise! What's this? I prepared a bubble bath for you. How did you fit a tub into a bathroom? I found it online. Japanese like extra small. I measured the shower area and it fits right in. <laughs> Just gonna close the door, that's all. This way, my lady. Oh. Look, I dropped everything as soon as I got your text. What's so urgent? Sarah did it. She told Bridget. You mean... Yes, about Jonathan and Evelyn. So Bridget took Max and left. Jonathan's marriage is over. Oh, my God. What a disaster. This confirms my failure as a mother. I brought up Jonathan to be just like his father, walking out on his own flesh and blood. This is history repeating itself. Mum, Jonathan made his bed and now he has to lie in it. I'm more worried about Sarah. Where is she? Oh, she left. And you didn't go after her? <gasps> I'm a terrible mother and grandmother. Gosh. Good evening, Mrs. Wu. Do you enjoy your bubble bath? Very much, thank you. Mm. Um, what's with this doctor's coat? I am Dr. Benny Wu, and I'm here to give you a thorough body checkup. Now, if you could please lie down. Uh, Benny, if this is your idea of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Dr. Benny, what seems to be the problem? Well, it seems to be the case of too much stress. But, sorry. I have just the right medicine for it. Wow! Atas chocolate and champagne. I can take this medication every day before and after meals. Here's your MC. Hmm. This is to certify that Geraldine Hay is unfit for work and has to spend more quality time with Benny Boo since her business partner Dominic is away. Uh, uh, sorry, did I do something wrong? Oh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, so, Dr. Benny, how often do you make house calls? Only when my special patient needs it. Well, your patient needs you right now. Mm -hmm. Sarah, when did you pick up smoking? Chill, it's not even lit. How do you expect me to chill? When you send me a text like I hate my life, I need to speak to someone before it ends. Please don't do this again and stay away from cigarettes. Go ahead, school me. I know I'm horrible. I'm such a burden to everyone. No, you're not a burden. Yes, I am. I'm nothing but trouble. I wish I was never born. Harish, tell me what to do. My family is messier than a kid's room after a birthday party. Please, it has a birthday cake after the family drama, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess so, but I can assure you, with my family, there is no hidden cake. Don't be so high on yourself, Rose. You have no control over what your family does. The way I see it, it's your father's fault. My father? Your mom told me your dad walked on you with your kids. Perhaps not having a father figure around led to the issues you and Jonathan have in relationships, huh? Let's not talk about it. What we need is beer. All we need is beer. See, the beer's wrong. Mm. Beer is all we need. Always? Yes. <laughs> Don't cry. I, I'm sorry, OK? I, I didn't mean to smack him. Sorry. I deserved it. No, you don't. For what I did to Dad? What happened? 
I ruined his marriage. I know he cares, but I... I just hurt him. It's okay. It's okay. Everyone who cares, I just hurt them. It's like... I can't help it. I just push them all away. And they go and they don't want to come back. They don't even want me. I want you. You don't even know me. I know I want to get to know you. Yeah? You do? Yeah. You're my daughter. I'm the unmotherly type, but... But if you want to give it a shot, yeah. Early in the morning mm. for Ang Hui. Mm. Hey, who is Ang Hui? <coughs> Why? Not nice, like your coffee? Mm. She's surprised. I'm also surprised. Last time there was also another delivery for Ang Hui. Some shampoo. Oh, this time is bread. Does it matter? It doesn't belong to us. Yeah. Wow, lunch and meat buns. Eh. It smells so good. <laughs> Maybe this Ang Hui is a new neighbor. Maybe later I'll go around and ask. Just throw it all away. There's no Ang living around here. 